so day 127 and uh, I have been recording every day while I wanted to and then my uh, five-year-old dropped my phone in the toilet so spent the last five or four days waiting for my phone to get here but over those last four days uh, it's been pretty exciting I uh, wanted to share with you guys my uh, metal business uh, particularly the metal bars like ingots um, suddenly started really taking off like like it's doing good uh, over the last week I've sold probably about fourteen hundred dollars worth so in fact I have to melt down a bunch more tonight because the guy just ordered 50 pounds now to give you an example he ordered 50 pounds of brass. He already bought 30 pounds from me. He ordered 50 pounds of brass. And uh, if I took my brass to the scrapyard, because they won't buy bars because they don't know what you put in them. So if I took my brass to the scrapyard, even if it was squeaky clean, they would give me like a dollar to a dollar ten per pound. Uh, but melting them down myself, which costs like maybe 20 cents in gas a pound, and selling them online, instead of a dollar ten a pound, I'm selling them for over five dollars a pound, so five times as much. Um, and I'm still 50% cheaper than most other people on the site. So, uh, you think that would eat through my uh, brass pretty quick, but I still have hordes upon hordes upon hordes upon hordes of brass. And I got a lot of other stuff I still need to list, like uh, my Zamic and aluminum. Um, just to see if I could get a bite, I put 55 pounds of copper bars on there for $579. So a little over $10 a pound. Uh, the scrapyard at the most if it's bare bright, would only give you $2.55 a pound. So again, it's like five times as much. Um, so, I'm pretty thrilled to announce that as far as the financial part of this goal, I think we may have found a way to actually pull it off. Um, I'm also going to uh, make more of my art stuff, get some art inventory and do some art shows. Uh, like farmers markets, uh, maybe even the flea market, um, you know, to try to get that, that dollar amount where it needs to be. And then, uh, coming, you know, middle of next year, I'll be doing the, uh, the master's license for Florida. So that'll be that part. And then, so once the financial part's intact, the license part's intact, uh, my dad's house here is done so he can sell it. It's all put back, brand new looking. I think we may just be on schedule to move up to Washington. Uh, which I've been really depressed because of my brother and now my dad. And with this uh, coming together a little bit more, you know, perseverance seems to be paying off. Honestly, as small as my support group is, I don't think I would have made it this far without Dietrich and Marcella mainly uh, reading your guys' comments, uh, especially because I really don't have anybody here to talk to. Um, pretty much all my family members have moved away. So, um, yeah. Uh, I took the girls to see uh, the Paw Patrol movie, so that was fun. And, uh, I mean, with my sales on my little business thing taken off like that, it was, it's motivating. It's really motivating. And, you know, doing something like this, you know, motivation is key. So, uh, if anybody's been worried about me, uh, feeling a lot better about that now. And, uh, yeah, now that I got my phone back in order, I can, I can start recording every day. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, I think I'm really excited, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.